Okay, I think we are at our low temperature for the night, pretty much. And when you wake up in the morning, it is going to feel all humid and warm, and temperatures will be pushing near 70 degrees in many places. So we're riding this roller coaster in the form of a front that is now south of us, obviously, because it is so chilly here. And with those winds off the lake in Evanston, Hank is giving us a northeast wind at nine and 41 degrees. He spent the day with that chilly wind all around. We have 49 currently coming in from Jen in Manhattan and she has says burr chilly night for us as well. Everyone's noticing this change in the weather. It's 54 degrees right now from Chris in Purdue, but his skies have cleared out for the moment. But in general, we had the front fall to the south of us, opening the door for that chilly wind off the 52 degree lake. That's why we felt so chilly, especially downtown. Commuters were surprised as temperatures fell throughout the day. Our high was 70, but that was at 1 a.m. this morning, and then we started dropping from there. It's 43 at the lakefront. It's 50, though, in Kankakee, 54 in Rensselaer. That front is just south of Chicago, so the air south of it is very warm. 79 in St. Louis, 75 in Des Moines, and 70 degrees in Indianapolis. So what we're going to see is our temperature holding in the 40s at midnight, and then here comes that front lifting north as a warm front. So in the morning, we'll be in the warm sector. You'll notice a little more in the way of humidity, temperatures at daybreak around 67 degrees, and a chance of showers and thunderstorms ahead of this front. And you can see some showing up here around Waterloo, extending into central Wisconsin. There is a severe thunderstorm watch out that pulls into the Quad Cities, but does not include us. That stable chilly wind off the lake is what kept the showers away. But in future cast, we look at 3.30 in the morning. Showers and storms could wake you up. A little bout of that as the front pushes through. 8.30 in the morning, we'll see a few showers. And then finally in the afternoon, clearing skies but falling afternoon temperatures after we lose the morning showers. So keep that umbrella handy for the front half of the day. Then temperatures start to fall. Then a beautiful dry trend setting up for your weekend, although it will be cooler than normal. 60s are normal high, but we're going to spend a couple of days here Friday and Saturday in the middle 50s, but at least it will be bright.